Millions of meals have been served to people who need a hand in the tri-state thanks to the Free Store Food Bank. And with a whole lot of help from one man in particular, Bob Edwards. The 80-year-old Edwards was hit and killed along I-71 this morning. Local 12's Brad Underwood is in the newsroom with the legacy he leaves behind. Brad? Well, Rob, more than 20 years ago, Bob Edwards had an idea. Buy a duck and feed a child. It's simple but iconically powerful. Over the years, the rubber duck regatta has grown to something bigger than many ever expected. As we remember, Edwards, you can't pass on the impact he made to the city and to us here at Local 12. In 2014, close to 160,000 ducks were sold. That meant Free Store Food Bank was able to buy three million meals for people in Cincinnati. Bob Edwards made a difference. It was his passion. It was his life. In the 20-year history of this rubber duck regatta, Bob had such a passion that we were able to raise enough money to provide 25 million meals to our neighbors in need. Bob never let a day go by trying to figure out how he could feed more kids. Free Store Food Bank President and CEO Kurt Reiber says Edwards had spoken to an employee on the phone the morning he died and that some expected to see him in the afternoon. The man behind the ducks has forever left his mark on the city and us too. We've spent afternoons with him, hosted events, and together helped make Cincinnati a better place. Loved being around him. Just a genuine good soul. You just knew that his heart was always in the right place and what he wanted to do was for the betterment of the community and for people who couldn't do for themselves. In the midst of mourning, there are questions still unanswered. Why did Edwards pull off the highway? Why did he walk into the path of traffic? The sheriff's office doesn't know either, and the investigation continues. Now, Edwards was still a board member and very active in planning next year's rubber duck regatta, even though he was slowing down his involvement. Now, Edwards has received numerous awards from several organizations over the years, including a Jefferson Award for his work. And not that I need to tell any of you in the studio, uh, this was a man who made a difference and changed lives. Rob? That's exactly right, and there has to be so much more to the story than we know right now, but we'll continue to follow it. And Bob will be missed by everyone, no doubt. Funeral arrangements for Edwards have not yet been announced, but we'll let you know when we know.